Hello, Lemon at Your Finest Health Champions. How are you doing? It's Dr. Babs here for our Wise Up Weekend series. It's been a while that I've done a live series and I'm so excited to be here with you. Thanks for joining in. How has it been going for you? Yes, happy Saturday, enjoying the Saturday. You know, here in Atlanta, we are wrapping up for the end of summer. Kids are starting back school next week. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did the summer go? But anyway, it's all good. All good things come to an end. But yeah, today we have a very important topic, one that is asked multiple times. You know, my patients in clinic, why do I feel indigestion? Why am I so uncomfortable? Why do I feel bloated? I do have a video on bloating, so please check that out on YouTube. But yeah, we're going to dive into just how healthy is your gut microbiome? The aspects we're going to review is why building a healthy microbiome, why it matters, and ways for you to build a healthy microbiome. So that's what we're going to be talking about. But before I start, in case you don't know me, let's connect. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Dilapa Babalola, aka Dr. Babs. I'm a family physician, I'm a wellness strategist, and I am a blessed, I am the blessed founder of Living at Your Finest Company. It's a company where I help communities of color to live at their finest holistic health so that they are empowered to flourish and nourish their body, their souls, their minds, so they can become health champions. All of this is educational purposes only. It does not constitute a physician-patient relationship. But I'm glad that you're here. So welcome. We are going to dive into just our gut health. Why does it matter? Let me share again what we'll be talking about, why we need to build a healthy microbiome, and the ways that we can get around to doing so. So thank you if you are joining in. Please, if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can stay connected. I love to hear back from you. Sharing is caring, so don't forget to share. So let's get right into it. What does a microbiome mean, gut microbiome? So it's so interesting to note that our bodies are made of trillions of, of microbiomes, and microbiomes just means bacteria, virus, and fungus. I was like, how is that possible that we're more of bacteria cells than human cells. So almost like 10 trillion times more bacteria cells than human cells. Majority of them are in the gut, however, and they serve several reasons, several purposes. So let's talk about it. So again, the microbiome, which I said the bacteria, the virus and the fungus, but mostly bacteria, aids as a fighter with food digestion. It helps make an energy builds strong immune system. It helps with synthesis, just put, just the processing of food and different hormones. Our body is made of several hormones. That's how it functions. That's the messages that goes from the brain to the gut. So, so important that we, we pay attention to our gut microbiome. Several things that can come about having a poor microbiome is Again, the opposite of all the things that we already said. You feel indigestion, you just feel very weak and tired, you feel bloated, you feel constipated. So again, if our microbiome is relying on good food, we gotta feed it for good food. So let's talk about a few things that we can do that can get us to that place. Fiber. Fiber is so important that we need to eat fiber because fiber is one of the key elements to keeping our microbiome healthy. Fiber is one of those major food groups that keeps us full, that gives us healthy microbiome. Now let's take a look at some of the healthy microbiomes that you would want to, just in case you're wondering what falls under the fiber. I have a beautiful picture here to share. So this Fiber, these are the top 20 high fiber foods. Some of them you might have identified, maybe it's one of your favorites. My favorite here is avocado, which is about nine grams of fiber. The American Heart Association actually recommends 25 grams of fiber per day. And unfortunately, a lot of us fall short of that. Lentils is good. We have uh, black beans, Raspberry, I also love raspberries. I've been eating that a lot lately. You get a lot of your fiber and you're not. So look at this list and find out which is your favorite. How can you get that 25 grams of fiber that is recommended? So let's proceed with other things that we need to do that is good solution for us. So we need to eat fermented foods. I'm sure you're wondering what does fermented foods mean? So these are the foods that actually 
build the good bacteria in our stomachs, in our gut. Good bacteria needs to be fed the proper food for them to be able to strive in that environment. If you have foods that are not promoting good bacteria growth, then you're promoting the opposite. So if it's not good, it's gonna promote the bad. So that's what fermented foods. And so let me share a picture with you so that you get an understanding of what that is. And this is where, if you've already heard of this terminology before, you have the good bacteria, which is called the probiotics. As I already mentioned, probiotics are the good bacteria in your gut that helps your body break down foods and support gut health. Some of the examples, coconut, kanchi, yogurt, but make sure that it's not the one that has a lot of sugar in it, non-dairy. So those are a few that I like to to take advantage of. Now the pre though, pre just means the food that the bacteria actually feeds on. And a lot of my favorites are here, garlic, ginger, we have bananas, asparagus. So just look at this list and see which one you're not eating that can actually help feed the good bacteria. All right, so again, the prebiotics are the foods that the good bacteria feeds on, they're non-digestible, but it does serves a big purpose in, in, in your in your GI tract because it helps to feed the good bacteria. Now, there are other things, right? So there are other things that that this helps with. You want to avoid processed foods, processed foods, sugary foods, they all help the bad bacteria. It just causes a roller coaster effect of indigestion. Um, the good bacteria just feels overwhelmed. It can't do anything. It's not sustenance for, it doesn't sustain it long enough for it to do, perform the functions like building immune system. So it doesn't activate at all. Now, what's about sleep? Sleep and exercise is so important because it decreases your stress hormones. As you see that if you don't manage your stress, your microbiomes are stressed because of the high cortisol level. High cortisol level doesn't create a good environment for your good bacteria to work and function at its best. So the, here are a few things that we definitely need to pay attention to as solutions to make our gut healthier than unhealthy. All right, so there we have it. So the question is, based on the quote by Sherry Rogers, it's like the road to health is paved with good intestines. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah, it bears repeating. The road to health is paved by good intestines. So the question for you today is how good is your intestine? Are you having a good bowel habit? Are you feeling bloated, indigested, indigestion? How can you take care of this? The best way to take care of it, again, as I mentioned, we are made of trillions of bacteria cells, mostly in the intestines and in the skin, and they serve as an important function in building the immune system, food digestion. So if we feed it well with the proper food, we will get good results. We'll feel comfortable, we won't feel bloated, we won't have inflammation. So there is one that you can take home today if you're not already doing, maybe yogurts, non-sugary yogurts, maybe coconut, asparagus, onions, anytime you're sauteing your food, saute with red onions, and then you will see the changes that will begin to happen. Thanks again for joining me with on this Wise Up Weekend where we talk about relevant health topics that will make us whole overall. Again, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're watching on YouTube, please go ahead and do so. Go ahead and share with friends and neighbors. Let's get healthier together, right? Let's have healthy microbiomes together. But I can't wait so until next time when we have another high yield topic on how to live at our finest health. I want you to know that you deserve you deserve to live at your finest holistic health by being whole and vibrant because you deserve it and you most certainly can achieve it. Take care. God bless.